Hey guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. I'm here today with Claire from Kitchy Kitchen and she's gonna show us how to make shortbread cookies for this holiday. Well, I'm so excited to make these cookies today because they are by far the most versatile holiday cookies you can make. Great. And they're so simple. It's basically two steps. So I have in front of me two cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and then two sticks of softened unsalted butter. How do you soften that? Is that in the microwave or did you let it sit out? You can microwave it as well, but you just wanna be careful. Okay, do it at like 10 second increments because what happens is the middle of the butter will start to melt and the outside will look totally fine, but then you'll go to work with your butter and it'll be just soup. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you mix together the dry ingredients. Okay. So just take these three ingredients, put them in your bowl and just lightly whisk them together. So I have my two sticks. I'm just gonna slide it right into my mixer. I have the paddle attachment, not the whisk. I really wanna cream the butter. I don't wanna add air to it. You can totally do this in a bowl with a spatula Okay, as well. I was gonna say, because I don't have one of those No, you are mixers. all set doing it by hand as well. So. It's sticking to the sides. It looks really pretty. It almost looks like frosting. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna add just probably a third of a time okay. of the flour. If you add it all at once, you get this giant cloud of dry ingredients, which is not ideal. And what I'm looking for between additions of dry ingredients is if you look at this, basically it all has the same texture. There's not like a ton of flour on top. Okay. It's been integrated. So this is ready to add more dry ingredients. All right. And we just keep doing this until the dough is finished. Okay, great. We're chilling the dough for, I'd say like 30 minutes. Okay. You can also stick it in the freezer for 10 if you're in a real hurry. So this is the dough after it's been chilled in the fridge for a while. Okay. I usually take it out and kind of let it like come back to room temp, the teeny of it, just so it's easier to roll out. Okay. So we've rolled out our dough between two pieces of parchment paper. I love doing this method because it basically means I don't have to add flour to the dough. Mm, that's interesting, I never knew about that. I love tiny Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. I think that's so much fun. Stars are a classic. And then I don't know why, but I think the triangle is just such a unique kind of fun shape that you don't see with cookies. And often. it's very on trend right now. Too. Totally, right? <laughs> So our cookies have baked at 350 for, I'd say about 10 minutes. Really what you wanna look out for is that the edges just start getting golden brown, but you don't want them too dark. I love the idea of sort of dusting these with a little bit of sanding sugar. Mm -hmm. Easiest way to do that is just to brush this with like a simple syrup so okay. it's sticky, and then you put that right on top. The triangles, I actually melted the chocolate and I like to dip them in the melted chocolate, mm. let that cool completely. And then for these guys, I love sandwiching them with a little bit of the caramel. And then because we're gonna be packaging these later in the other video we're doing together, I don't want there to be any sticky edges, so then I roll them in the desiccated coconut. Mm. So you end up getting a really nice sort of dry texture on the outside. That's great, they look delicious. And then so for kids too, it might be fun to bring out some colorful sprinkles. Oh, totally. Other little garnishes. They can really make it their own. That's the fun part. Super fun. Claire, thanks so much for showing us how to make these delicious, super cute cookies. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> thanks so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ojoy YouTube channel and subscribe to Claire's channel, Kitchy Kitchen, on the link above. And check out the video on Claire's channel where I'll be showing you how to make these super cute gift bags using leftover wrapping paper to package up these delicious cookies that Claire showed us how to make today.